Yeah, hop on up. You guys ready to film a video with daddy? Mm -hmm. The struggle is real for stay at home parents who want to go back to school. Your schedule is the least flexible of anybody that you know. You might be on a roll getting homework done and then summer break hits. Maybe your kids hit a sleep regression, which is always a fun one, especially if they're teething. And then maybe you had a nap time where you were planning to get a bunch of work done and then it disappears. I stay at home just one day a week to help my wife with her work, but generally it is the hardest day of my week and it happens to be today. So today for filming this video, we are gonna have some help from Ani and Elliot. And they're gonna help me show you how you can graduate college in just one year, even if you're a stay at home mom or dad. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna introduce you to a really cool stay at home mom who graduated college in just eight months. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> trying to grab all my cords. I understand why going back to college feels hopeless for parents because you have a lot of things going on and schools aren't built around your lifestyle. But good news, there are some colleges that will work that we talk about on this channel. And if you combine those with third-party alternative credits like CLEP, study.com, or SOFIA, you can actually make college fit your lifestyle. Are you off to go do something? Yeah. See ya. All right, she's gonna go play. Wait, can you actually see this guy? <laughs> there he is. And I know that it sounds too good to be true, but there literally are colleges and ways of going about college that don't involve deadlines. This whole strategy, the, what we do on this channel is called college hacking. And we have a link in the description. You can sign up for a consultation with us. We can help you put together a plan, get you graduated super quickly and inexpensively in a way that fits your lifestyle. So if you're interested, check that out. I got a phone. Oh, you got a what? The phone. That's not a phone. But let's talk about the specifics and how to make this happen. Everything that is due on every specific day, or if it's- Is this a phone? That is not a, that's a remote. Number one, sit down for 15 minutes at the beginning of every week and put together a list of the things that you wanna get done. And if those are supposed to be due on a specific day, make sure you are noting that. Get all the syllabi from all your courses, figure out how many SOFIA courses you wanna work on, how many modules you wanna go through, how many study.com tests you wanna take, and make that list at the beginning of the week so that you have a vision. Stay in your homework a little bit every day. I recommend at least 30 minutes a day because if you don't, when it's time to get back into it, it's gonna be harder, you're gonna feel more frustrated and motivation will go down. Find someone to watch your kids for one to two big homework sessions per week and leave the house where you cannot hear your kids screaming or crying and somebody else is just handling it. Are you, are you trying to eat my hand now? All right, cool. Or at least gasp, turn on the TV with like eight episodes of Bluey lined up and get to work. Is that good advice? Yes. yes. I watch Blue's Clues. Oh, you do like Blue's Clues? Yes. Yes, that's good. Why do you like Blue's Clues? Because I don't like your shows. Boom, roasted. You don't like my shows? That's probably good. Get up early or stay up late. These are quiet times normally when you have that time to yourself. So use them. And I generally recommend early because I think that's when you're more I mentally fresh. <gasps> that is a cool ball. Have a plan for nap times. As soon as the kids go down, knock out X amount of modules or X portion of a chapter, what it is, before you do anything else. If you're doing third party alternative courses, I really recommend study.com in particular because they have very digestible chapters where you watch like an eight minute video and then you've got a, you know, some reading to do and then a quick quiz. And it can be really easy to say, all right, in the next 30 minutes, I wanna knock out two of these. Hey. What? Hi. Hi, Ani. Hi. Are you down there? I wanna hide. Oh, you wanna hide? You wanna play hide and seek? Yeah. Let's do it after the video, okay? Or if you wanna go hide now for like five minutes, that could work too. You do you. Leave the tabs open to the course that you're currently working through just in case you have some time free, surprisingly. Then you can just go, you know, knock out an eight minute study.com video or a page in like a modern states clep prep thing. I'm hiding. You're hiding? Nice. I would get audio textbooks if you can, or a text reader, have that MP3, put it on your phone, and then listen to it while you take the kids for a walk. It's really nice too, if you can have something to take notes with where you're like, oh, that's a really good point. Let me just go ahead and bookmark that. So you can go back and look at it later. But being able to double duty walking with watching kids with listening for school, super awesome. You're also eating my hand again. Oh, so much slobber. And then finally, I would target 10 to 20 hours of homework per week. That for a regular way of going about college is gonna be like three to six years for you to finish. The college hacked way for 10 hours a week, you're looking at two years on average. For 15 hours, you're looking at a year and a half. And then for 20 hours a week of homework, you're looking at about 12 months. Daddy, is it okay? I need to, I need to 
bed? Yeah, you can jump on that bed. Go for it. It's just a futon. But just don't fall off, okay? All right, let's be done jumping. You're not very coordinated. <laughs> Roasted. But the real talk is that under all of this advice is just that you need to keep moving slowly and steadily at the very least. Oh, you might hurt your knee doing that. If you fall behind, readjust your goals, pick a course to work on that sounds fun and keep on going. The missed naps, the late nights, the screaming fits, the slobbering, the weird new way of jumping on futons. These things are inevitable, but the reward is worth it. And remember that you're doing this not only for yourself, but you are actually doing this for your kids. I think one of the biggest things, and I think this affects stay-at-home moms most of all probably, is this sort of like guilt that you're taking time away from your family and your kids to go do this thing that feels like it's maybe just about you. And I think that that is totally reasonable to feel, but I think you have to counter that by saying, look, I am doing this for myself, but I'm also doing this for my kids. I'm gonna show them the value of education. I'm going to help make their lives better. When they are thinking about going to college, when they're older, they're gonna think about whether I have a degree and that's gonna influence them as well. And it might you know, make their life better potentially. Are you gonna go to college one day because daddy set a good example? Yeah. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Hey, do you wanna come over and say goodbye? I don't. You don't want to? No. Okay. You're too tired. Maybe you should take a nap. I should jump. You should jump. Oh, yeah, when I'm tired, that's what I love to do. All right, Ani doesn't want to say goodbye to you, so Elliot's going to say goodbye. Uh, if you do want help with any of this process, you want to make the college hacking journey easier and all that good stuff, check out the link in the description, and we can help you fast track this college journey so you can get back to taking care of those kiddos. Or if you just need a little bit of inspiration, check out this video right there uh, to learn about a awesome college hacker who graduated in eight months while taking care of her kid. It's really inspiring and really good stuff. Thanks for watching and happy hacking. Do you want to say happy hacking? No. Okay, that's okay.